Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ and everybody who's watching this program. Friends, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here and we are going to enjoy Dr. Zakir Naik, the best marriage expert, the best marriage counselor. You guys are looking for a woman. Anybody looking for advice to get a woman to marry and age and whatsoever, if you have any question, Please call free to call Zakir Naik, the best and the brightest. I am a medical doctor. I'm a medical doctor. He has, is a medical doctor. He is a Quran scholar. He is a Bible expert. He is a, a marriage expert. Wow. Wow. He's a Bible critic and he just everything all in one, all in one. Dr. Zakir Naik. So, please, if anyone is interested in getting a marriage counsel, if anyone is planning to marry, and if you need any, 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 any advice, I just brought you today, Dr. Zakir Naik. He's gonna help you. He's an amazing counselor. We never, never, humankind never, never had a counselor so far like Dr. Zakir Naik. Now let's listen and let's learn from this greatest scholar, marriage scholar. Let's listen. I, I do read uh, Muslim books. Uh, Shalom. I'm Danny. Uh, I'm a student. I read Bible, studying more about the biblical manners, understanding. And I do read uh, Muslim books. Uh, no, I'm not relating to all the questions what Bible and Quran has. Uh, this is something related to my friend, who is my best friend. His name is, uh, I don't want to take it, sorry. Now, he is married, and due to some reason, uh, he's uh, planning to divorce his wife. And I find it out that that was a very small reason that he wanted to divorce his wife. And secondly, uh, yesterday I was just reading this Mumbai Mirror at midday. That 112 years old guy, uh, Muhammad from Somalia, he is uh, getting married, or, sorry, get, got married to this 13 year old girl, Safiya. And I was very disturbed to answer my friend because I just asked one of my friends and he told, this is what we learn and this is what we return and this is what we follow. So I just went on to the internet and said that this is the easiest way I see because I don't get a chance like a Zakir brother for you to question it. So just I'll just read it for you if you give me a chance to read it from uh, what I found it from the internet regarding this uh, justification and the relationship which Muhammad had. Is that a true or you just help me out to come out of this issue and I can go to my friend and say that this is what exactly the Quran teaches. Do you want to read or do you want me to answer? I'll just read it first for you. But you're not satisfied with the answer, no? Uh, whatever. You may say, hope I answer the question. You're not satisfied with the answer. No, hope you So what the paper says, forget about it. Okay. If you're satisfied with the answer, what you have in your hand, then that's sufficient. If you're not satisfied, I'll give you the answer directly. Just let me read it. Okay, okay, take it. Brother, put it in just five sentences in precise form. Otherwise, don't read it. I'll do that for you, sir. This is actually, let me just quote it from Sahih Bukhari, volume 7, book number 62, which Zabir bin Abdullah says, when he got married, uh, Hazrat Muhammad says, what type of lady have you married? He replied, I'm married to a matron. He said, Muhammad, why don't you have a liking for a virgins and for a fondling them? Zabir also said, Hazrat Muhammad said, why don't you marry a young girl so that you might play with her and she with you? Now, it's a, I was like a little bit disturbed. This is the preference of uh, Hazrat Muhammad or after reading Bukhari volume number five, he you said more interested in reading the hadith rather than the question he posed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Correct, uh, I just so want to ask you a question. It. I give you the answer. You want to read the answer of somebody else because you want to quote the hadith. Quote directly. Yeah, yeah, because I get an answer from you also. That's See, what it if you have two plus two, I don't know the answer. I want to tell what other people said. Why about that? I'll give you the answer directly. It is four. What other people said, seven, eight, ten. Forget about it. And that's why I came over here, sir. That's the reason why you're reading somebody else's answer if you're not satisfied. Okay. Correct? Yeah. That means I have to comment on both. On the question as well as the answer. Correct? Okay. I'll do both. No problem. <laughs> See, what is the Niyah is important? If your Niyah was to get the answer, why Muhammad 112 years old, 113 years old, married or 13 years old, the answer of you knew. But you also wanted the answer of Prophet Muhammad, correct? Yes, because so directly, what do you have to say? I'm not satisfied with the answer given on the internet, given on the paper. Directly ask the question on the hadith rather than beating around the bush. I'll give both the answers. Okay. I'll give both the answers. Hope I may satisfy with your answers too. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yes, that depends upon you. If yes, I say 2 plus equal to 4, you said no, it is 5, I can't help it. I'll, I'll take it what you say, but I'll believe what I can believe it. Sure, sure. You have to believe what you believe. You can't believe what I believe until you believe what I believe. True, sir. <laughs> because it's called law of contradiction. <laughs> Sorry? Please go ahead. Sorry, what did you say? Please go ahead uh, because I want to know the answer yes. from you. As far as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is concerned, 
Hi, I'll come to it later on. Regarding the man, by the name of Muhammad, you said, no? Yeah, because it's some person from African Somalia. 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 From Somalia, 112 years old, you said? Yeah. Married a girl of 13 years old. Yes, sir. And it's a fifth marriage. Fifth marriage. Fifth yeah. marriage? Yes, not, sir. Not five together, maybe money, married and divorced. Fifth, fifth I said. Yes. Uh, the Pachma Shadi. Pachma Shadi, but ekdo ko divorce diwa, ho sakta na. At any given time, you can't have more than four. Now, coming to the answer why. In Islam, you can marry a woman the moment she gets matured. If she reaches puberty, you can marry. That is Islam. Right? A woman to marry. For a man, the moment he reaches puberty, till he dies. You can marry anyone. Choice is his. Would you marry a woman 15 years older to you? No. No. No choice. But the Prophet Muhammad married. His choice. Prophet Muhammad at the age of 25 married a woman, Hazrat Khatija Mella Bil Pizita, who was 40 years old. You will not marry. I will not tell you you have to marry. It's your choice. Now he wanted to marry a woman 15 years older to her because she was pious. Who are we to object? He's willing. And the woman is willing. The Mia Bibi Razi to kya karega Kazi? Because uh, wait, wait, let me answer. <laughs> Please don't interrupt. You pose the question. I said sorry, sir. Yes, and accept it, no problem. <laughs> so the husband and wife, who are we to object? That woman wants to cover her head. You said don't cover the head. Are why? Are she wants to cover her head, and the president of France said woman should not cover that. Why? He wants to <laughs> It doesn't have to do. <laughs> it doesn't it has it has nothing to do covering there. Wow, this is the doctor. I am a medical doctor. Inshallah, inshallah. When Muhammad was 25, Khadija was 40, he wanted to marry her. Why? Because there was money. Money, money. Islam is based on money. Money. She was a rich woman. And Muhammad and his, her, her, her Muhammad and, and uh, Khadija caused to drink her father. And he forgot. Okay, dad, yeah, marry me. What are you going to marry? Muhammad. Oh, yeah. Married. Married. And then he wake up. No, dad, yeah. He caused us to marry. No, no. My daughter. He's 24. He's 25. You are 40. How could I allow you? No, 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 no. My daughter, my daughter. No, no. Oh, <laughs> we gave you drunk. <laughs> the smartest. Muhammad is, was not only a prophet. He was the smartest man in the society. <laughs> smartest deceiver. And then when Muhammad was 54, there was a six year old baby over there. He want to, <laughs> want to have sex with her. Can he marry? No, sir. No, no. Who are you going to tell us to say Muhammad cannot marry six years old when he's 54? Who are you? A woman can marry. A, a man can marry. Yeah. Hundred, hundred, twelve years old man married thirteen years old girl. And the fifth marriage. So this is a doctor, medical doctor, medical doctor, 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 doctor. Islam is full of such beautiful idea. Islam is inshallah. Even the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was great. And the master deceiver, deception, deception. And then he's a doctor. No, she wants to put barka. But Emmanuel is just, he said no. He said no. Emmanuel, France, said no. What has to do with Barca? What marriage has to do with Barca? He asked him, you know, about his prophet. Yeah, well, well his choice, your choice, your choice. This is a doctor. This is a, ma a, 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 a brilliant doctor, Dr. Zakir Naik. Well, welcome to Islam. Islam 101. Dr. Zakir Naik. You see how brilliant he is? You see how marvelous his, his, his convincing answer is? Well, that's great. I hope everybody gets something interesting in the near future. If you are looking for somebody, uh, somebody is looking for a, a marriage counsel, counselor, advisor, expert, please, please refer him, her to Dr. Zakir Naik because he is amazing, amazing. Amazing. All right. Thank you for watching and for listening. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the Lord of his truth. He is the life and the light. And he alone saves Muhammad and all his people like Dr. Zakir Naik have are nothing but deceivers, liars and cheaters. May the Lord richly bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.